jQuery will help you build your dot com. Find an element inside of the DOM. Ajax traversal manipulation, event handling, and animation. Providing you with versatility, an API with extensibility. jQuery is something you can ignore. Write less, do more. You're watching Try jQuery, and this is level five, where we're going to start by talking a little bit about taming CSS. So we've got HTML, we've got CSS, and we've got JavaScript. And if we want to change the style of something, what should we use? We can use both CSS and JavaScript. Let's try using some JavaScript. So here we've got a page where we've got different vacation packages. Let's make it so that when people click on the li element, that it changes the style. So here we are inside of our application.js, and we're listening for click events on the vacation class. There's a few different methods we can use to get and set the CSS. We can set it by specifying the attribute and a value. We can get its current value by specifying the attribute, and we can also send in an object. Let me show you what that looks like. In our example, we could set the background color for this current li to this hex code. We could also set the border color to one pixel solid with this color. We could also do this in one line by method chaining these both together like so. However, the cleanest way to do it would be to simply send in a JavaScript object. In this case, having a series of keys and values with just one argument, which is that Java object. Now, when our vacations are clicked, we want to show the price for that vacation. So we're going to take this, which is the current li that was clicked, and we're going to find inside of it the price class, and then we want to display it. One way we can get it to display is changing it from display none to display block. However, there's a better way to do that. jQuery gives you two methods, one called show and one called hide, and they basically do the same thing. They change it between display none and display block. Um, but they're a little bit easier to use. So here we call the show method, and it's going to display the price for us. And there we go. Now when we click on the li, it highlights the vacation package and shows the price, as we can see here. This might feel a little bit dirty to you. That might be a good feeling, because you might want to keep all of your styles inside of your style sheet and not in your JavaScript. So how might we do that here? Let's refactor this code to do that. So let's create two new classes. We have a style on the highlighted class and a style on the price inside the highlighted class. Now, in order to make these style changes, all we have to do is add this class to our li. So let's go ahead and do that. And now our code is a lot cleaner. Plus, it's much easier to manipulate the style because all of our styles are in CSS. One more feature we want to add here is when we click on the li for the second time, we want the price to go away. So how do we remove the highlighted class? Well, remember, not only do we have add class and remove class, but we can also do toggle class. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll add toggle class highlighted, and then it will add the class if it doesn't have it, and if it does, it will properly take it away. And here we are back in our web page, and as you can see, it works. Time to get in the challenges, and I'll see you in the next section.